Today, we're gonna show you how to prevent all of this nasty from building up on your wheels. And we're gonna show you how to install front brake pads. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Now, about a year ago, I made a video on how to upgrade your pads and your rotors on your F30. And you may be thinking, hmm, I probably missed that one. Well, you didn't miss it. Turns out the product was terrible, so we never ended up posting the video. You see, I actually had these wheels on at the time when we made the video. And I noticed that when we had these pads on, which will remain nameless for now, that they created an excessive amount of brake dust and everyone was like, oh, get your wheels ceramic coated and you can also just clean it off with some wheel cleaner. Well, we use Sonax, which is probably the best product that we've used with dissolving um, all of the, the nasty that builds up on there. We use Eagle One, we use Meguiar's, we use pretty much everyone on the market. We use Chemical Guys. So you name it, we probably used it. And the problem is, whatever those brake pads were made of, now they stopped amazing, but they left all of this permanent staining, which is rubbing off on my finger. And just to show you how bad this is, we're just gonna take it out back and we're gonna try to clean it for you. Here we go. Now where on a normal wheel, that would leave the wheel pretty clean. With this, you can see that there's an excessive amount of completely caked up brake dust that has permanently moved in here. And we have tried scrubbing and scrubbing. You can see it comes off a little bit at a time. We even dropped it off at a professional detailer to see if he could get it out. And he gave it back and said sorry. <laughs> so, needless to say, I am fed up with brake dust. So today, we're gonna show you how to drastically reduce brake dust on your wheels. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to change out front brake pads if you have the M Sport brake setup in the front. Now, even if yours is silver, whether it's silver, blue, or another color, as long as it looks like this, this video is going to apply to you. Now the brake pads that we're going to be using today are the EBC Red Stuffs. They are also known as the 3000 Ceramics. Now the beauty of ceramic brake pads are you're gonna get incredible bites still, but you're going to get extremely low brake dust, which is really what we're after. Now the big question is, are these pads specifically made for the track? No, they are not. So as you can see on the box here, they have eight different varieties of their brake pads. Um, they do have pads that are specific for the track, but we're looking for some daily use on the street. We're not looking to race with these. I just wanna get rid of brake dust. So that's what we're doing today. So once again, the pads that we're going to show you how to change are with the Brembos. They look like this. You might have gray ones, you might have blue ones, you might have yellow ones that are covered in black paint, just for temporary. So it is so easy to change these pads. I love it because if, even if you're at the racetrack, it's just super easy to do. All you really need is some kind of pin or we'll even show you how to do it with this little tiny screwdriver and then some kind of mallet. I like this one because it's plastic and rubber. So if you miss for whatever reason, it's not gonna do much damage. The way that these brake pads are held in, there's a pin here and there's a pin here with a little spring. So you take your pin and you start to just gently tap it out. And you put your finger right here. You relieve some of that tension. You might need to pop it out a little more. There you go. And that is the pin that holds your brake in. Then you're going to do the same thing on the bottom.
me, just like that. And then you can take the retaining clip, and I like to put it on the ground so uh, I know exactly which way it goes back in. So if it goes like this, I'll typically take it out and put it on the ground like so. So with this style Brembo, it literally has it so you can just drop the brake pads in from the top. Now, my favorite feature about this is because of how it's designed. Now I'm not gonna use these pads again. What you can do is just press into the piston just like that and it's going to compress it. So that way you don't even need anything to compress the pistons. Look at all that grossness that was trying to get on my wheels. So once you've done that, I typically like to get in here and give it a little clean. Then what I'm going to do is I have some ceramic brake paste. I'm going to put a very small amount in the back. Now the area that we're aiming are right here. So there's a little circle here for the piston and then another circle over there. So I'm gonna to try to aim for that general location on the back of our new one. And just for reference, this is what we're using today. Then you can take your new brake pad and you can carefully slide it in like so. Then you can do the exact same thing to the other side. I'm gonna compress the piston, slide it out. Now when you're doing this, always be very careful not to get any of the lubricant on the actual brake pad itself. Only that little section in the back. So once you've done that, you can put that in. Um, before we put our pins back in, I do wanna clean them up a little bit. And as you can see, a couple minutes with a wire wheel, it makes it look like it is brand new. So now that we've cleaned it up, we can take our first one, take our spring again. We're gonna load it from the back to the front. You wanna make sure that this little bead right here is going to be in the back because this is what actually compresses and makes everything stay in place. The other thing to note is you wanna make sure that you put this in in this orientation so that it goes through the actual caliper, then it goes through the pad, and then it goes like this through our little spring, then through the pad and then through the front. Okay, so we're gonna go through here. If you need to maneuver anything around, you can. Okay, like that. We're just gonna leave it sitting like that for one second. Next, I'm gonna clean up this pin. And we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Now that this pin is cleaned up, we can press our spring down, feed this through. Okay, get everything to line up nice just like that. Now, once you have everything lined up, you wanna take a, a pin or your screwdriver and you wanna just carefully tap it into place. Okay, and once you have your pin, you'll know that it goes in all the way when it's just about flush. So if you look down here, you see it sticks out quite a bit, but up here, it's just about flush. Now we're gonna set the second pin. Just like that. And what I like to do is I like to just press on the top and bottom, make sure that everything is nice and loose. And believe it or not, it was that easy and we're ready to go to the driver's side. Now on the driver's side, everything is pretty much the same except on the driver's side in the front, we have a brake wear sensor, which we're going to be replacing. Now when you take out the old one, the old one's gonna stick with it. And even if it's not completely shot, we pretty much just get rid of it. Basically on this, there's a little metal clip and there's a flat side and there's a piece that has a little bump out. Now the bump is actually what's going to read the thickness of your brake pad. So what we're going to do is you take this and you just wiggle it in until it clips into place just like that. And then once your brake pad trips this little sensor right there, it's gonna throw a signal in the car saying that you need new brake pads. So with this one, same exact thing, we're going to put some lubricant on the back here. And we're just going to slide this in just like that. And then you're going to take your sensor and it gets clipped in over here. Then it gets clipped in over here. Then it goes over here, plugs in, 
and just snaps into place just like that. Then clip this in. And then what you can also do is you can take your bleeder off, you can put it through that little piece of rubber just like that and it's gonna keep it nice and out of the way. Once you're done doing anything on your brakes, most important step is to pump your brakes. You wanna fill those lines back up with brake fluid. Otherwise, when you start to drive away, you're gonna hit the brake, it's gonna to go to the floor, and you're not going to stop. Um, the other thing you wanna do is pop your hood and just check your reservoir, make sure that your level is still fine. And if you need to, you can bleed your brakes, and we have a video down in the description that'll walk you through that process. Once you've done that, you need to reset your light to tell your car that you put new brakes on. So press the start stop button just one time and then just wait a couple seconds for things to start clearing out. Then you're gonna press and hold the button on your cluster. So just press and hold. I think it takes about 10 seconds or so. Okay, so it says brake fluid. This is a little outdated. It says reset possible. We're not looking for that one, so we're just gonna press the button one more time. Front brake pads, it said we had about 600 miles left and a reset is possible. So press and hold, and then it'll say reset. And then you just press and hold again. Resets in progress. Okay, reset successful, and we are good to go. Now, as always, you do not need a lift to do this job. You can do it on your driveway with the regular jack and jack stands, and we'll leave some suggested products down in our description. Um, also, wanted to let you know that once you have everything installed, it's always a good idea to follow the manufacturer's bed-in process. So we're gonna leave EBC's bed-in process down in the description. So be sure to do that for the max bite and longevity of your brake pads. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all of the links to all the products and tools we use in today's video. Be sure to see the description. Now, I gotta go because we're working on video two, how to install the rear brake pads and also upgraded rotors. See you in the next video.